Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys why you should be using streams by trying to read a very, very large text file. So to get started, I'm just going to show you how big the file is. So I'm just going to hit Control B. We have our large file.txt file here. And if I click Reveal in Explorer, right click, Properties, you can see that the size, it's about 2.7 gigs. So let's actually take a look at what would happen if we were to use the read file method from the file system module. So now if I was to execute this and type node app, you see that we get an error and the error says file size is greater than the possible buffer. Now, what does that mean? Well, the read file uses a buffer, but it uses a full buffer. Now, what that means is that I need at least 2.7 gigs in memory in order to load this file because this file has to be loaded because this file has to fit within the buffer. And it's saying, hey, your buffer size is just too small for this file. Now, I'm just going to comment this out. And now what we're going to use is a readable stream. So I'm just going to comment this out. And then we're going to uncomment this. And by the way, I have tutorials on both readable streams and using the read file method. So now I have this stream. But look what happens when I execute the code now. So if I was to save this and now execute it, you can see that our readable stream ha has absolutely no problem reading this file. So I'm just going to hit control C to cancel this because I don't want it to finish, you know, loading the entire thing. But why can this be accomplished with streams, but not using this read file method? Well, one, a stream uses a buffer also, but it doesn't use a full buffer. It uses a very, very small buffer. And what that allows us to do is basically what's happening is that you're ending up reading the file in chunks. You're not reading the entire file at once. So basically every time a data event occurs, I am getting a chunk of the file. I'm not attempting to read the entire file at once. And therefore the buffer size could be a lot smaller as opposed to the read file method, which uses a full buffer which needs to be big enough to load the entire file at once and then serve it. Streams allow for a smaller buffer size, which is memory efficient and for data to be read and written in chunks.